Oh, um, so today I decided since I already did one video, I might as well do another one. So I was gonna make a video about this today too, because I got busy. Dad got home, then take my nap. You could have to go to bed early. They're taking a nap today. So I'm gonna tell you about this pair of pants by oops, my fingers in the way. Um Vivian Van Belde, I guess that's how you say that. I don't know how. Um but it's about being trapped in a virtual reality game, and if you don't win, your brain will get fried. Um yeah. Pretty much that's what happens to the girl in the book. She goes to play the game, you know, normal enough. Some things happen. She ends up being pretty much trapped in the game. So the people in the game, they come in and they go, the only way for you to escape without any, you know, mental breakdowns, because all of the safety measures got broken up when some people did some stuff, so she was going to have no safety backup thing. They weren't able to disconnect her without causing brain damage, so what they basically told her was, you have to win the game, or you're going to have, you know, bubbling brain problems. I don't think that's how they worded it <laughs> exactly, but... That's pretty much what it comes down to. There's the back if you guys want to try and read it. I don't know if you can read it really. Mm, it's kind of, oh, it's the opposite direction. So that's pretty much what it says if you want to try and read my wiggly handwriting. But um, in the game, it's about, oh, I should tell you about the game. The game that she picks is a game about becoming the king you have to fight off your three stepbrothers and this evil tyranty queen. You have to fight a dragon, answer riddles. You gotta make a poem for this weird dude. Find a ring. Oh, find buried, find treasure. All sorts of fun things. No, get killed. She gets killed in a lot of very interesting ways. Like, literally, she dies in this book probably 30 times, I'm guessing. Before, because every time you die, you respawn in the game. But the thing is, she has only, like, I think in real time, she only has, like, an hour and a half or something to play. Normally, you get about three full playthroughs of the game in like a half hour approximately because time's weird I guess because you're in the virtual reality helmet thing kinda like how sleep is weird with the uh, time stuff I'm rambling again I'm sorry um but besides that that's the fun her name in the game I don't even remember her name her name is Jacine I can't even say that as it looks funny in that page. But it's really cool. It's a futuristic book that I'm not, I'm gonna re record possibly re record this. I don't know. I'll probably just post it. I don't really care. Um but it's a great book. I love this book. Like I said, I've read this book five times probably. Um <laughs> I like that part. The part in the back is about when she's trying to make a poem for the statue. And if the statue likes your poem, he doesn't kill you and he gives you what you ask for. And if he does not like your poem, he chops your head off. I think I said that, but I don't remember. I'm a, I'm functioning not much sleep, remember. Um Yeah, I think it's really funny um at the end. I really enjoy the ending. I wish that they kind of had more of an epilogue. The epilogue in this book is a little sad, meaning that it kind of cuts off after some things happen. I, I don't like doing too much spoilers. I kind of did a little bit, but I didn't do too much. 
you kind of figure out what she's going to do because she dies enough that you go, oh, she has to do these kinds of things. But besides that, I try not to spoil the book too much. Is why I'm not telling you some things about it. But basically, read this book. As it says, either you win the game or you begin it again and again, and it just kind of fades off in the book cover. Um, it's really cool. She's awesome. Witty, snide remarks everywhere in this book. Lots of banter and fun. I like witty people. She's really cool. Always got a remark to say about people who are rude and obnoxious. Ready to tell them what she feels. That was really awful looking on the camera. <laughs> Please forgive me. Um, I ran out of things to say again, so it's why I'm rambling for like the last minute. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to make this book not sound boring, but I don't want to spoil it. I think I said that already. Um, where's my list? I told you. Right, the, um, I don't want to go here. The, the next one I'm going to do is probably going to be about my full-time job, which I do Monday through Friday. I also have a part-time job on Saturday and Sunday <laughs> that I do, like, all day those days. So I'm fairly busy. Um, I'm not going to tell you my job. I'm going to have you wonder and be amazed by my awesomeness. I am a going to be a junior in college coming fall. Dog, shh. I don't know if they can hear you. Shh. Um, but that's what I'm, so I, I have a job in my field that I'm going into, so I'm really happy about it. I'm so, I'm super excited. I've got like a name badge and all sorts of cool stuff that I'll show you next time, hopefully tomorrow, because I don't have, I left it at work. I just realized. Um, <laughs> Oh, I've been talking for seven minutes. I haven't said anything. Um, please forgive my bad time management. That's all I have to say. Yeah, the next one, and then I'm probably going to talk about the book um, I was reading. Now I'll probably talk about the movie next time if I decide to make one today or tomorrow or whatever. About the movie After Earth, which... Probably will be fairly short, but going my luck, I'm gonna ramble and it's gonna turn into a long video. Yeah, but besides that, I might introduce you to my cats and my dog in another video. But I have to find them first though, they're sleeping. But have a good day. Please don't make fun of me. Bye bye.